As Solomon was still contemplating on what to do with the demon, Envy, he ordered another demon to come before him. And there came into his presence, an enormous hound, having a very large shape, and it spoke with a loud voice, saying, Hail, Lord, King Solomon. Solomon was astounded, and said to it, Who are you, O hound? And it answered, I do indeed seem to you, to be a hound, but long before you were, O king, I was a man that wrought so many unholy deeds on earth. I surpassed all, in my vast knowledge of the letters, and was so mighty, that I could hold the stars of heaven back. Many marvelous works did I create, but I do harm to men who follow after our star, and I seize the frenzied men by the larynx, and destroy them. Solomon said to him, What is your name? And he answered, I am Rabdos. And the king said to him, What is your purpose? And what are the things you can do? And the demon replied, Give me one of your men, and I will lead him away into a mountain, and will show him a green precious stone, tossed to and fro, with which you may adorn the temple of the Lord God. Solomon, on hearing this, ordered his servant to set off with Rabdos, and to take the finger ring, bearing the seal of God, with him. He said to his servant, Whoever shall show you the green stone, seal him with this finger ring, and mark the spot with care, then bring me the demon at once. The demon showed him the mine of the green stone, and as instructed, the servant marked the spot and sealed the demon, bringing him back to the king. Having decided at last what to do with the demon envy, as well as Rabdos the hound, that was so huge, Solomon, with his right hand, confined his seal on the two spirits. He commanded the demon envy to keep the lamps alight, night and day, so that they cast their lights on the artisans at work in the temple, and he bade the gigantic Rabdos to keep watch of envy, and ensure he does not fail in his light-bearing duties. Then Solomon took from the mine of that stone, two hundred shekels, for the supports of the table of incense, and had his men construct an enclosure round the mine of that stone. This is where the legends of King Solomon's mines came from. Before he dismissed Rabdos the hound, Solomon asked him, By what angel are you frustrated? And the demon replied, It is by the great Brius. And then he led the headless envy to do the work they had been bidden.